Sex with beautiful Ukrainian women. Hello, guys. Uh, happy to see all of you today. And the do's and the most importantly, the don'ts. Because if you get this wrong, guys, you will mess up all your relationships right from the beginning. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I hope you will enjoy today's broadcast. And thanks for joining us. I wish all of you will be pleased today. And I have great news for you guys. We are super excited today to announce our Instagram channel launch. You can find us on Instagram by typing in search just match guarantee spelled with a Y without space in between. Every week, guys, Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, you guys will have opportunity to win the contact information of one of our genius marriage-minded ladies. So Skype, WhatsApp, email of one of our our beautiful ladies of your choice. So uh, don't forget, please, you can choose girls from the highlights under the free girls tab. So don't forget, please. And uh, guys, at the end of my broadcast today, one of you lucky guys that are online with me now are going to win. You need to call us at our Seattle phone number, 1206-801-1371. Then I give you a certain cue, guys, at the end of this video. So be attentive, please. Stay tuned. Stay till the end. And one of you will be lucky one. So uh, don't forget, guys, I also want to announce that tomorrow, Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, our very experienced matchmaker, Irina, with 18 years experience in matchmaking, you know her already, is going to talk about the same topic as I do today, beautiful Ukrainian women and sex. So, uh, and you're going to hear regarding this topic also from her perspective, because she's elder than me, she has even more experience, and you will get maybe some uh, information from another angle. So uh, if you miss today, or maybe you want to ask a very experienced matchmaker's opinion of any points of this topic, please join us tomorrow, don't forget, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Hello, guys, all of you, Tracy, William, Wolhawks, nice to meet you, and uh, also want to announce for you next topic of my live broadcast for next Saturday, November 30th. Uh, the topic will be how to avoid friend zone and get beautiful Ukrainian woman you want. It's actually the continuation of our today topic. So it's kind of complex, kind of Syria, you know, and uh, we are going to do slowly, step by step, uh, also the next one, uh, November, uh, December 7th, also will be a very interesting topic regarding sex. So stay with us. Don't forget, because these topics are very important and you, you know, some of you really can get into friend zone and you never know how to avoid this in a right way. And we are going to discuss very important points, how to escape uh, this dreaded friend zone, okay? So, Come and join me live, and I'll tell you how not to get in this situation. Also, guys, as always, can you please do me a favor, uh, like our live episodes, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by simply clicking the subscribe button in the lower right of the screen. By this way, you help us to grow, and you know, we help you to teach you how to be more successful in finding your beautiful Ukrainian woman and also how to build a happy relationship with her. Because, you know, it's not only important to find her, but the most important to keep this relationship and to make both of you happy for a long period of time. Hello, uh, new guys who joined us, Global Bloodstock. Nice to see you. I remember uh, you coming to Sume. Okay. Uh, also, guys, regarding topics for today, please uh, ask all your questions in comments below, okay, in the chat box. I have now some information, as always, to share with you, uh, to teach you a little bit, to coach you, okay, to give you some advice, which is very important. And after I give you information, you're welcome to ask any questions. You remember, there is no taboo questions regarding any topics uh, about beautiful Ukrainian women, but please keep in frames, okay? And uh, I hope you will enjoy today. So today we are discussing with you sex and Ukrainian 
woman. So I guess uh, the questions, when to start sexual relationship with beautiful woman uh, from Ukraine, when first to try kisses, how not to push her away, uh, these questions are the most important in men's mind. So let's try to see how it works and on what it really depends. Let's see, first of all, what sex means for women in general, because some men has this idea that sex is very important only for men. But I, I guess the uh, majority of you who think like this, uh, you're really mistaken. You know, it's not only the pleasure and possibility to relax but also it's a physical demand, vital and integral part of healthy way of life for every woman and for Ukrainian as well. So for Ukrainian women, uh, sex on regular basis gives uh, to a woman a feeling that she is really desired, that she is attractive and that she is a woman and that she is still interested interesting, sorry, for her men. Because sex is like a kind of sign how much men love her, respect her, want her, because, you know, when you have quite a long break in sexual relationship, it also influences all your relationship in general. So the mood can be spoiled, uh, not so good atmosphere in, in at home. So by frequency of sexual relationships, sexual meetings with uh, men, women can understand what's really your attitude to her. The rare, the, the rare you have this, it means the less feeling you have. That's the idea of Ukrainian woman. And of course, you know, sex for many women is also a way uh, to make stronger and to restore faith in relationship. And of course, all of you are aware that the better relationship you have with your partner, the more often you will try to have sex with her. Sex is always a kind of final stage of mutual understanding and reunion of couple. You know, some couples always have very passionate sexual meeting after some conflict or argument or after some um, pause in relationship, you know, when you don't see each other for a long time or if you were in quarrel. And after this, sex also uh, always um, more hot and more passionate. So um, latest scientific and psychological uh, researches claim that usual Ukrainian woman has sex just two, three times a week though she would like to have it every day. Of course, when she's not sick, guys, upset, or, and the right partner is next to her. That's very important, of course. And quite high percentage of these women say they would like to have more often, every day, if possible, and that the spontaneous sex, instead of planned one, and well organized. So please remember this. We will talk about this more later. Of course, you always should remember that it depends on women's age, conditions of life, presence of kids, amount of job and responsibilities. You know, some factors, of course, can reduce not only the quantity and desire, but the quality as well. So don't forget that sex anymore uh, gone from the platform for, of, for birth of kids. Now it's more a pleasure and satisfaction. And you, as you know, the pleasure cannot be organized and planned. So that's uh, the most pleasure in being spontaneous. So that's why more and more Ukrainian women prefer spontaneous sex and get much more pleasure from this. Uh, modern Ukrainian women prefer good quality sex during which both partners, not only you guys, get the satisfaction and pleasure. But to have such sex, partners must have already a total uh, understanding, mutual understanding, no secrets, you know, no omissions. All Ukrainian women are looking for frankness, uh, frankness in sexual relationship, and they are open and ready to discuss some intimate topics, you know, and then also to practice them with you if you are beloved partner for her. Please don't understand me wrong. Uh, I'm not telling that they are ready to satisfy the most perverted desires or some serious deviations in your sexual behavior, and it will be gladly accepted. No, remember this. Okay, so we are talking about normal uh, creativity in sexual relationship. Okay, so don't misunderstand. What is very important also think regarding sex topic, guys. Never forget that spontaneous sex we are talking about right now is great foundation uh, for 
present relationship, which you have already and you are in the process. It helps you to make them more warm, sincere, and magnetic. But if we are talking about spontaneous sex on the first date, it also can be great for sure if both of you feel the magic and chemistry, you know, but only from uh, physiological side. Regarding uh, physio uh, psychology, guys, in majority of cases, chemistry is one of the smallest reason why she may want you just on the first date. And it's more exception than a rule when people will continue these relationships. In one of our next episodes, I think it will be in a Saturday after friend zone, okay? I will give you information why really she can agree for sex on the first date. Believe me, there are some specific types of easy women and there are some specific reasons why they may want it right now, no matter what. But if your main goal is to find and build really good and long-term relationship, guys, it won't work with such women. Maybe. I don't say never, okay? So maybe one of 500 men will boast of such a lucky story, of happy story, okay? But in general, Ukrainian women has some psychological reason or issue for having spontaneous sex with unfamiliar men uh, just without any specific uh, circumstances and on the first day, on the first meeting. So we will discuss it later with more details in a week or so it will be in two weeks, uh, December 7th, if I'm not mistaken. And now, guys, let's see if you have a chance on your first date or what to do, at least not to push her away. First of all, remember that if the woman agreed to meet you already, so that means she likes you and you have something special. So something special, there is something special in your personality that hooked her, you know. It means uh, you look special for her in comparison with other men. So be more confident regarding this. If it's real date, not just meeting to drink some coffee, it means she sees a man in you. So not just a friend. So remember, in this case, you already have a chance. And now on this stage, it's very important for you not to spoil everything, not to push her away and to be on the right uh, to be on the right way. So remember, date is always for Ukrainian women is kind of exhibition. You know, she will look at you, she will listen to you, smell you even, and evaluate you to make a general conclusion about your future destiny. So think before date how to act, how to behave, what to talk about, make kind of plan, guys, some kind of scenario. Uh, she must have positive attitude and impressions after this date. So you really need to work hard on it. Remember, the main decision will be done actually on the very first seconds of meetings subconsciously. And it depends a lot on how you smell. That's the fact from old time, guys. Then women chose the best males for future kids. I, I, I guess uh, all of you adults here and you know this theory about uh, hormone smells and everything. Uh, so be sure you smell pleasantly, but it's all about body smell. Don't confuse it with chemicals. So shower is always welcome and accepted, okay? Good perfume, nice quality, of course tastes differ, maybe she doesn't like, but subconsciously uh, every first seconds women understand if this male fits her or not. So be sure you are clean, tidy, and smell nice. So uh, the next, what I'm going to tell you now, how to understand really her signals, how to understand, how to understand she's not against physical proximity, and when you can actually go on for the next step. That's very important, guys. So some signs, and you will understand how it works. So she fell for you, but too shy to show it to you. If the woman is, sh if you notice that she's shy and embarrassed when you look at her, it means you hooked her. She listens to you attentively and she looks at you. So you will notice this immediately. Always remember body language. You always can understand if she's not attentive, if she's bored and she's looking on different sides, you know, maybe yawning or maybe looking at your, your watches. You will always understand she's not so much interested. Maybe the topic was not correct. Maybe she's just not interested in you. So look attentively how attentively she's listening to you. 
She's nervous and blushing. She's laughing at your jokes, but these she fancies you and want to and uh, she wants actually you to see this. She's playing with her hairs. Something like these guys trying to twist it on her finger. You always understand that's one of the most important sexual signal. Also, she's playing with her glass, you know, with the finger. She can uh, take it in a specific way. So always pay attention to these signals. If she's doing like this, you're on the right way. Uh, she's not trying to convince you in something. You know, she... She doesn't show off. She feels good and comfortable with you. She is maximum relaxed and you feel it. You see it, actually. So if you don't feel any tension during the conversation between both of you, don't confuse this with natural shyness, guys. Means you are right one so far, for sure. Uh, don't forget one of the most important methods which Ukrainian women and I guess women from all over the world, they use to hook you also when she's giggling and flirting with you. That's the most important. And she speaks about some intimate topics, not deeply, of course, not falling into too much details, but she is not against, you know, to discuss something. So no, if she is not shy to show you uh, also some marks on her body, let's say some tattoos, if the topic about this, so, you know, she's not afraid, like, uh, to open her uh, arm and to show you, ah, here, look, I have this here, or I have that here, or maybe here. So that's also a very good signal. It means she's not shy to show you body, and that's very good signal. So actually, if you see also she's looking for tactile contact, she's not against your sitting next to her and being closer, actually not trying to avoid your touches. That, guys, are very important signals, so don't forget, if she's okay, you sit next to her, and if you come closer and she's not, like, you know, nervous or making a very negative face expression or jump, like, from the electricity, you know, in this way, you can understand she feel she feels also some sexual desire, or at least she accepts your sexual signals, okay? So you're on the right way, just not to spoil being too much in a hurry, and don't be rude, of course, and don't be low-minded, so don't play these stupid se sex jokes, you know, some anecdotes. Uh, try to be in frames, so try to keep yourself in hands, okay? Uh, you always should remember what actually Ukrainian woman is doing on the first date. She collects all info and data about you. She tries to know as much as she can about you to understand what kind of person you are, your interests, your hobbies, your lifestyle, your perspective, and actually your future plans. So she can ask also some questions to you know, to fix all puzzles in her mind and to create the whole picture regarding you. And the main important, she clarifies the category for you. You know, all the women on the first date, she makes a conclusion whom you can be in her life. You can be just a friend, just a familiar person, lover, or future boyfriend who will become maybe, maybe one day a future husband. So the first date is really, really important, but also um, don't exaggerate the meaning of the first date because I know the cases when the first dates were just like a friendly talking and some people really need time to get used to each other not only for sex but just for staying together for spending time together so don't be in a rush if you don't see if you don't see these signals on the first date it doesn't mean she never see uh, a perspective lover in you okay in the future uh, so Always remember your appearance and general look is the reason to want you or not. So nails, hairstyle, clothes, shoes can help you to win her or to kill everything from the very first second. We talk a lot about this, how clean your shoes should be, how fashionable your clothes should be. No, don't use oversized clothes, your hairstyle, your beer, if you have beer, so it should be accurately cut it. So it you should look like a gentleman, like a man who came for the first date and who really want to impress the woman, who really want to leave nice, positive and uh, very good impression after this meeting. So you need to do hard. And 
believe me, woman who is going to meet you first time, she also will work hard on it. She also will spend few hours to get in ready, to think what to talk about, what questions to ask you, how to look. She will go to manicure, maybe pedicure, to do her hairstyle, to choose. Maybe she will change like 10 dresses, you know, and you always should remember because... Uh, guys, on last uh, last live broadcast, I saw one guy asked, uh, I think it was in the comments after live stream, he asked, why only we men should work hard on this relationship? No, guys, that's a great mistake. Women also work hard. The problem is that I am here to help you guys from the point of view of women, from, Ukraine, from the point of view of Ukrainian women. So I'm doing the best to teach you what man should do to win his woman. But believe me, our Ukrainian women are learning a lot now. They attend, uh, they attend a lot of different courses. They read a lot of psychological materials, how to win man's heart. And believe me, in these courses, there is no information like you should look great, you should look sexy, you should always have perfect nails, perfect hairstyle, you should always smell perfect, like uh, just to use just brand uh, perfumes or brand clothes or something like this. No, psychologist talks a lot how she should behave, how she should actually play the role of the woman. To be warm, to be cozy, to be delicate, to be understanding, to be tolerant, to be wise, to be flexible, to be sexy, to be a good mother, how to understand actually the way of thinking of men. So that's a great mistake. If some of you guys think that I'm only making attention on how you should work hard, how to win Ukrainian women, that's a great mistake. So I'm just here for you from the point of woman okay but there are some people who helped women ukrainian women because as far as we have a lot of divorces as far as we have a lot of unfortunate stories unfortunately women also want to learn more how to be successful how to win man's heart how not how to make to keep him for many years and how to make him not to cheat on her you know how to be always sexy and interesting for him so please uh, pay attention to this fact, okay? And let's get back to our topic. Guys, very important, never shake her hand uh, while the first meeting. It's a great negative signal for her regarding your intentions. It can be cheek-to-cheek -cheek kiss, you know, at the beginning of the date or right after. It depends on how you feel, okay? Flowers, sweets, I even don't want to mention it anymore. I think everybody who joined our live broadcast already know it like a prey, you know? So your self-confidence, your real man's energy and sense of humor, that's main weapon against Ukrainian women. That's all you need to attract her on the first date. And don't forget touches. That's the biggest red or green flag, as I call it, to understand if she got chemistry to you or not. So don't grab her. Don't touch her like, you know, without her permission. Don't be arrogant or vulgar. Touches should be always delicate, light, and not specially made. Hold her under the elbow, you know, or give her hand when she goes downstairs or regarding the situation, you know, all these light accidental touches. Signalize that you are very sensitive and good lover and she understands and she feels this perspective, okay? Our women can differentiate kind of touches and she will understand what you really want from her and she will feel what you expect from her and what attitude, what feeling you have towards her. So women think if you don't touch her even once during the first date, that means you're still not sure regarding her and you don't have specific and certain plans uh, regarding her and your mutual future. So if the woman let you touch her, if she doesn't jump from you, not trying to sit distantly, you know, or you see unpleased face expression when you touch her accidentally, all this means you are on the right way. To show your serious intentions, try to call also... Um, uh, when you talk to her, try to call her by name as often as you can during the conversation because psychologists talk all women love by ears, you remember. And the most lovely word to every personality is his or her name. So 
as far as you use her name as often as you can, she pleased, she get more pleased and more pleased and more pleased. You know, you, you give her like a balm. Okay. So don't forget this, but, uh, at the same time, not too often. Don't make oily oil, you know, otherwise she can feel you're not sincere. So everything should be natural. Uh, don't be artificial. And if you're not so sweet, if you're not so kind, and if you're not so funny, don't pretend because she will understand really you're playing some games or you want to look better than you are actually, and it will make her even more suspicious. So you can push her away. So guys, be always realistic, first of all, about age. The bigger age gap, the less chance you have to win her and to have sex with her. Pay attention uh, to how you look, how you talk, act. Be confident and never lose the chance of non-intended touches. Light and delicate, don't forget. Follow her reactions. Look into her eyes. Follow her body language. So in this way, I wish all of you to get tremendous chemistry and mutual desire with your beautiful Ukrainian woman, if you like lucky one, and if you're going to meet some of her very soon. Have a night full of passion and love. Be actually happy. And don't forget that next time we will talk with you how to avoid dreaded friend zone. Hope it will help you as well to be successful. So regarding this topic, we will... Uh, meet with you next Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So, guys, now I am ready to ask all your questions, okay? Uh, I will look at them. I see we have a lot of questions and a lot of people here today. So, I will mm, I will check your questions now. And uh, don't forget, uh, you are ready to win today. So, you can start calling our Seattle number 1206-801-1371. The first one who will uh, reach me out, I will talk live a little bit, okay? And you will be the winner. So you're welcome to start calling to try to reach me out, okay? And uh, for now, I will check what questions you have, guys, and uh, let's continue our live conversation, okay? Okay, a lot of you today. Mm -hmm. William is on the way to Kyiv. Great, good luck. Hope you will have internet to, to see our live broadcast till the end. Mm -hmm. Hello, team. Uh -huh. Hello. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dave, uh, what's your time there? You mean in Ukraine? Uh, right now it's 5.30. 5.30 p.m. in Ukraine for you to know. Okay. Pamik, you're welcome to Ukraine. Uh, what type of... Uh, Vox Hawks, what type of contact is acceptable with Ukrainian women on the first date? Uh, what do you mean what type of contact? E Actually, all type of contact is acceptable. You know, some stories, you can always get a sex on the first date, but it depends on your expectations and what you really want. If you want to build some serious relationship, better to avoid this on the first date. But who knows, maybe you will be one of the lucky of one of those millions who will have a happy continuation after that. Uh, but guys, uh, we will discuss this, why it's better to avoid uh, sex on the first date uh, in our next topic, so stay with us. Historic Lake, hello. Mm -hmm. Guys, also, uh, I see nobody is calling us, so I, as far as I understood, nobody is going to win one of our free introduction. Also want to remind you, please be realistic when you choose your girl. That's very important. Uh, because, you know, um, it's all about age gap, so Let's say if you are, let's say 50, okay, and you choose the most beautiful, which is 25, of course, it's your choice and your right to try your luck, okay, but be realistic and guess what will be her answer if she will say you yes or no. So 
Please try not to miss this luck. And please try to call us right now, 1206-801-1371. I will answer the phone for you right now, live. Don't, don't be afraid. I'm not going to ask uh, some uh, confusing questions or whatever. You just can win your chance, your opportunity to get uh, your free introduction of one of our beautiful ladies, Uh, whom you know our matchmaker arena know perf uh, perfectly and personally so you have a great chance actually to meet very sincere and genuinely marriage oriented uh, woman so don't forget you can enter our page um, instagram on instagram it's just match guarantee without space in between spelled with a y and you can find uh, our girls you can choose one of them But just try to call me. Don't be afraid. Uh, I can just say you hello and maybe a few more words, and you will get this uh, lucky chance. Okay, so don't be don't be shy. Actually, okay. So uh, regarding what type of contact, uh, you can kiss her cheek to cheek. You can sit closer. It all depends on the situation. It all depends how long you're communicating with her before uh, if you're communicating for a long time maybe one year and it will be your first date who knows maybe you will be lucky to get even sex on the first date because maybe you were discussing already some intimate topics during messaging you know and you both already like passionate and hot and you're waiting for this first meeting and the chemistry like spark will will appear so why not but if you just uh, exchange some introduction letter and it will be a first date so it will be a little bit uh, official you know like formal kind of communication uh, so that will be a little bit different uh, but you can touch your hand of course uh, if you play some jokes and she laugh at you you can hold her you know like slightly like this uh, you can sit next to her if she doesn't mind and by the way if you go to some restaurant or cafe you can ask her do you mind me sec uh, sitting next to you you can sit in front because sometimes it's easy to have this eye contact you know uh, but maybe if she doesn't mind and if she say yes oh you're welcome okay please sit down here so it's it's a great it's a great signal okay okay Mm -hmm. One second. Hello. Oh, Rodney. Hello. Nice to see you again. You joined us already. Rodney, also, uh, I don't know if you missed the beginning. We have a great chance today to win. Uh, we are giving away, actually. Today we start our... Uh, All of you have this great opportunity to win free introduction of one of uh, our beautiful ladies uh, who is actually already uh, marriage-oriented and who is waiting for their destiny. So please, why nobody calling me? Just remind you, uh, phone number 1206-801-1371. Guys, nobody want to win one meeting with a girl? Who knows? Maybe it's your future wife. So please, try You will get your contact information, Skype, email, WhatsApp even, guys. So that's a great chance and you can get that just for free. So please call, try. Oh, oh, you know what? I will choose now one of you in the list and I will make you to call me right now. So if you don't want to be banned for the, ne uh, banned for the next uh, live stream, I will choose and I will point who will give me a call right now and I will make you to choose one girl. So please do it yourself unless I am doing some punishment for you. Okay, what questions we have more? Um, well, Hawks, uh, would you say Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian women are adventurous in bed? Yes, uh, they're adventurous. They like to try some new things, but... Remember, it's not only about Ukrainian women. Everything must be by mutual agreement. You know, if you see she doesn't like the idea, you can always um, hint before. You can always ask some questions. So what about uh, doing this or that? If you see her reaction is positive, why not to try? Yes, of course, so Ukrainian women, they are not conservative in bed. They are ready to try something new, to do some experiments, but... 
But actually, um, I hope not too much perverting desires. Okay. Okay, I see we have some some call. Yes. Okay, guys, we got call one brave man from all over the world decide to call one second. Hello, my name is Vita. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Willy. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Uh, very nice that you reach us out. I'm very happy. Uh, I, and I congratulate you. You won. So, uh, and yeah. I can tell you, we got now your information, uh, your phone number, okay? And uh, just right after our live broadcast, Joe, uh, he will give you a call right back after the show, and he will give you all deta uh, details about uh, your winning and about the contest, okay? No problem. Thank you very much. Waiting for your phone call. Uh, thank very you. Good. <laughs> thank yeah, you, too. You have a very good, uh, good advice. I, I like it. Okay, I'm very pleased that you like our broadcast. Always join us, okay? And uh, I'm very happy that we have our winner today. Okay, so please stay, uh, stay, uh, stay available, okay? Joe will give you a call right after uh, our broadcast and give you all details, okay? Very cool. Thank you. Very okay. Much. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you nice weekends. Okay. Bye bye. You too. Mm -hmm. Have bye. a good day. Bye bye. So, guys, you see, it's not difficult. One of uh, our happy winner now, we got this happy winner, and we, uh, we are going actually to do this every week, every Saturday. So you, you will have opportunity to win one or free introduction, and who knows, maybe it's your chance. So more details you can get uh, about this context on our instagram channel just match guarantee in the search without space in between spelled with a y so don't forget and join us all the time and uh, if you are lucky one if you plan your trip to ukraine why not to combine it with such a good chance okay next time i think we will got also an, uh, a winner okay what else we are going to continue answering your questions guys okay 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 i hope i didn't uh, miss some questions uh, guys i also want to say uh, sorry last time it was too many questions and i missed some questions for sure so please if you see i miss those questions please don't be offended okay it's not because i ignoring uh, you or you or i don't like your questions or i'm not going to answer this because it's complicated or not ple not pleasant for me don't think like this uh, for me there is no taboo questions i just want to say because it's uh, too many questions, too many people, and sometimes I can just easily miss it. So if you really want uh, me, and if I miss your question, you can always uh, left your question in the comments below, just right after live broadcast. Of course, I will check them all, and if there is something I will answer, I can give an answer next time, okay? Because I see I missed some questions last time. I'm really sorry, but don't forget, I... Uh, I did it intentionally, okay? So I hope everybody understands this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking for your... Questions, guys, you're just communicating. Uh, guys, no no topic, uh, no questions regarding sex topic. Uh, Manish, does Ukrainian girl speak English? Yeah, majority, majority of them, yes, but not all. Of course, uh, country girls can have some difficulties with this, this regarding the age and this regarding the education. The higher education uh, the woman has here, uh, the more chances she can speak English at, le on, at least on basic level, okay? And actually, the younger generation, practically everybody can talk, uh, can speak English, sorry, uh, Elder one also as well, but it depends on education, on uh, profession also, you know. So not all, but a lot, really a lot, especially in such uh, cities like Kiev, or Odessa, Lviv. So there are people communicate with foreigners all the time. So uh, that's not so big problem. But sometimes, of course, people not. I cannot tell you for all women in Ukraine, but we are trying. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
J, uh, time to change your name. Uh, it's is this a question to me or to somebody? Clarify your question. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tony, no, probably that's not for me. Guys, I don't see any questions uh, regarding regarding sex topic today. That's not in, in interesting topic for you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's jumping. Make mm -hmm. Mm, well, Hawk, some Ukrainian names are hard to pronounce, so hope I get an easy one. There, that's not about uh, difficult. You just didn't you didn't used to that uh, for us. Also, sometimes it's difficult to pronounce, especially like Indian names, Arabian names sometimes, you know, but uh, that doesn't depend. You can easily uh, get used to it. Don't worry. And you can always create. Uh, we Ukrainians, we like, uh, you know, these um, short, small names, like sweet ones, okay, but please, not on the first date, not on the first date, okay? When you get used to the person, when you have good uh, intimate relationship, you can always make it short and, and uh, easy to pronounce for you. Some special, you know, like Svetik, Olchik, Vitachka, Lenchik, or something, something like this. Okay. Mm, IT master, can you tell something about using Tinder? Mm, what's the question? I didn't get uh, what you want to, to hear from me. I'm not using Tinder, never used, so never heard. Uh, no, I heard about Tinder, but I never used, so I don't know. But I can tell you, a lot of Ukrainian women use Tinder. I know that uh, not only women, but men as well. Uh, men as well. I visited I this just once. I, I, I saw a lot of people... Mm, trying to find the couple there, but I actually never use it like seriously. So, mm -hmm. I'm already engaged with my Ukrainian lady, not from your website. I'm sorry, that's absolutely fine. Uh, about sex, we are both very shy. I know I must be the leader here, but how to approach such shy women about sex? Uh, you first of all, you can start talking. You can start talking if you are online chatting. You can start talking before if you both shy. Of course, you have to take initiative in your hands. Of course, especially if she's shy. But uh, try just to talk online regarding some small topics, you know, and uh, see what will be her reaction. If it's not too negative. Uh, and I hope she will be enough hot with you because shy women, I, I don't know what's her age and what's your age. But actually, it's a good beginning just to start talking about this and to see tastes, you know, what you both like. Uh, if you match in this, that's a good opportunity. You anyway don't see the face of each other. So you don't need to be shy. So why not to try it online then? And then when you meet, again so you will have already like a background you know foundation to 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 start practicing what you were talking about so that's actually a good a good way for people who is shy on who is not sure what to expect what kind of woman she's in bed or something like this uh in delicate manner of course very accurately step by step word by word, but you can try it online in messages, okay? And that's actually, I can tell you, a lot of Ukrainian women like messaging with their husband uh, regarding intimate topics. When he's at work and she is also at work, they can uh, exchange some uh, sexy messages, some sexy photos. That's what Ukrainian women actually like. But of course, when she's absolutely sure in you, when she's actually uh, sure in you and she feels conf confident and comfortable and she knows your reaction will be okay. If she tells you something which can mm, surprise you, you know, or uh, maybe more than surprise you. So that depends on your reaction. If she's sure in your reaction and if she's sure, even if you don't like her idea, but you will react okay positively, like you won't say, oh my God, you're a pervert or, or what's in your mind, you're crazy or what, something like this, 
Of course, she can do, and that's, by the way, a very good way to keep your sexual relationship uh, quite hot and passionate for a very long time, you know, especially when many years you're together because the passion is fading away, you know, slow. At home, is always a routine. You come, you're taking care about kids, talking about money, budget, politics, problems fa uh, regarding family, something like this. And you sometimes, guys, forget about, like, intimacy, which you had before at the beginning of your relationship, this romantic. But sex, uh, sexual messages can really prolong this um, passion and keep your relationship, you know, uh, for a very long time. And that's a very good chance, by the way. So try try this also, okay? Hope you got my answer and you're satisfied. Um, never called Ukraine in Ukraine. Wonder what international calling charges are. Ah, you never called. Uh, why you should call there just by normal phone? You can always use WhatsApp or Skype or Viber. That's for free. So I, I'm not I'm not sure about the prices from your country, but you, Viber and WhatsApp is always available. Practically everybody has it here, and that's always free. So. Rodney, what is maximum age gap? I'm 57. You forgot all we were talking one year before. Rodney, 10, maximum 15 years. Not more, not more. Remember, it also, of course, depends on how you, lo you look like, uh, how much you fit, and if you attend maybe gym or you have healthy way of life, you don't smoke, you don't drink, blah, 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 all this, you know, stuff. But... Mm, desirably not more uh, than 15 years. Also from biological side of you, you remember we were discussing this many, many, many times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Missed. Okay. Mm, thanks, Rodney, for your compliments. I'm always happy to see you again here because we were waiting for you. I, as I told you guys, I remember all names and all nicknames and all your stories, guys, who were present on all my live streams one year ago. So thanks for joining us again and hope you won't be uh, disappointed by our meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Historic Lake. I told you hello already. You missed it? Mm -hmm. Okay. We are all too scared, Tracy. Why are you scared? You're a very experienced visitor of our live broadcast. Why are you scared? Guys, you had really such a great opportunity. I don't know. I, I thought we will got like... Uh, Dozens of calls and people will try will be trying to reach immediately, but you are shy, guys. You are shy. <laughs> afraid of Vita. Who is afraid of Vita? Oh my god. I hope I um I didn't get old so much for last year <laughs> and I didn't disappoint you guys. So don't be afraid. I'm still Vita, uh, very kind and helpful so that's still me don't i i didn't change too much i hope uh rodney uh, email me so i can rejoin the site joe called me some time ago okay uh, you can find you can find the link below in the description just to just to to join the website again to check your chances and opportunities okay don't forget you will have a free skype call with one of our beautiful coaches who will give you all explanation about uh, the whole process who will investigate your zones of success who will give you some advice so don't be shy do it please rahul are they horny uh, who ukrainian women of course they horny but yeah guys uh, ukrainian women they are really hot tempered I cannot compare with Brazilian women or Italian women, okay? It all depends about physiology. But, you know, it all also depends on the 
personality, sign of zodiac as well. You know, some some people are not so hot and tempered. Some are too much. You know, like scorpions, lions. Uh, they are considered to be the hottest signs of zodiac. You know, it all depends on the personality. All depends on. Um, uh, past experience, also her first experience, it, because, you know, some man, if he wasn't uh, a good uh, professional enough or delicate or tender enough, uh, he can also spoil and the woman can have some complexes or some psychological issues which you will have to break down, you know, and to, to, to take these complexes away. So it actually depends on personality. Some are really horny, some not. And it depends also on you because you know a lot, practically majority uh, in bed depends on men, how you behave. If you're hot tempered, if you show her how much you want her, how much desire you have, and uh, you have some uh, special ideas, uh, all this, of course, the woman's reaction will be the same. But if you are not so tempered, so the woman will feel also like a little bit frozen, you know. So it all depends on you also. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, IT Master, how many times girls from Ukraine like to have sex per week? Okay, so regarding regarding this question, by the way, I mentioned this at the beginning of um, giving you uh, information regarding this. Actually, if everything is fine, you know, if the woman is not sick, who knows, maybe she feels bad, maybe she really has a headache, Maybe she has two or three kids next to her. Maybe she's tired from coming from her work late at night and she has to cook, to clean, to wash. Of course, that's natural. She will be tired at night and she will have some uh, relax. Maybe in the daytime, you know, she will be full of energy and desire. But when she comes at home and um, by the end of the day, actually, she will be really exhausted. So maybe her brain... It's okay to have sex, but her body already like starting to sleep. So that can be a little bit difficult to wake her up. Then you need to change some rhythm. Maybe she will be okay early in the morning when she has some, uh, some time to relax, uh, to have a rest. I mean, maybe in the middle of the night, some people are like this. I know that for some people, for some women and even men, like 10, 11 p.m., it's a difficult time because they were busy at work, a lot of thoughts in their minds, and, you know, uh, they're really tired. So here, are they okay? They're brave, they're ready to do something, but body already doesn't respond correctly, you know, because reflex is starting to sleep. But in the middle of the night, 2, 3 a.m., when the person already have rested a little bit, you know, some spontaneous sex. I don't mean you need to do kind of marathon like one hour or two hours, okay. But some something quick and fast and spontaneous, why not? So you can always try. It depends on your uh, biorhythms, guys, <laughs> okay. And you can always choose what she prefers, what time she prefers. Okay, hope you're satisfied. Actually, every day is fine if all conditions are positive. If she's not sick, if kids not next to her, if she has time to relax, if she feels okay, if you're not in a quarrel with her, if her mood is okay, and if she's not um, thinking about paying credit, like urgently, you know, maybe she's upset or disappointed, something like this. You know, a lot of factors, a lot of conditions can reduce desire, quantity, and quality, not only to women, but men as well. And you know, you guys also, you guys also are very sensitive regarding this. Maybe even, uh, maybe even more sensitive than women. You know, because uh, you can always tune the woman if something. But you guys also have a lot in your mind, and it easily to spoil the process. So, okay, hope you get my answer. Okay, every, every day is fine. Every day is fine. But it depends on woman you choose. Of course, I cannot give guarantee for every woman. For some, maybe once a week will be fine. It depends also what kind of lover you are. If she really likes to have sex with you, she can be ready maybe even twice a day. So work hard on it and you will get it as much as you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Bilal Khan, thanks for compliment. Uh, Volhax, I forgot I can use WhatsApp to make phone calls. Uh, I hardly use it. That's not a diff difficult. You can just install it uh, as a Viber and call. And connection, by the way, by WhatsApp is much better than on Viber. I mean video calls, okay? Okay, guys, we have like five minutes more. Uh, so I will check some questions. Mm, do Ukrainian women wear engagement rings tradition? Uh, no, we don't have actually this tradition. You can do if you want. You can do if you want, but uh, actually we don't have this tradition. But that's a, that's that's fact a welcome. So if you want, you can, and she will be happy. Okay. Uh, just take a look. I really didn't get your question correctly. How does the women think about their organism? One of multiple what they think. Mm -mm. Okay, guys. For now, I see uh, how hot are Ukrainian women. I guess we just discussed this. Uh, the most hottest. The, the hottest in the world. The hottest. Okay. Hot tempered, very jealousy, never forgive you if you cheat on them, uh, ready for all your experiments in frames, in being okay, okay, not, not being insane. So don't forget if you decide to do something crazy, like really, really crazy and uh, disgusting. No, I think, but maybe you will be lucky to find the same parrot like you then you will be happy, okay, to have this composition, pervertic composition. Okay, guys. Mm. Okay, guys. Uh, also, ask you, as always, please like our episodes if you really like it, okay, if you really enjoy it. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by simply clicking notification bell button in the lower right of the screen who still didn't do it please do us because we are doing uh, all these topics just for you to help you to make you more successful and to give you as much information as we can don't forget to try your luck on our instagram page because uh, we are giving away one free introduction it's just match guarantee spelled with a y without space in between and you can always choose uh, the favorite girl which you will like, okay, in the highlights, just under the top three girls. So please join our every week contest. Uh, don't forget we are meeting with you every Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Tomorrow, Irina, our professional experience matchmaker, will also talk about sex topic with uh, beautiful Ukrainian women and you and Sandy same time 10 a.m you can also ask her questions from her more experienced point of view okay guys i wish all of you not only happy weekends but uh, the hottest nights with our hottest ukrainian women which you ever had and maybe which you can ever imagined okay i hope all of you will find your match and you will have tremendous desire and uh, tremendous chemistry and sparks i wish all of you, the chance to get sex on the first date and to keep this relationship till the last day of your life and to get this passion during the whole marriage life. Okay, so I wish all of you good luck. Uh, and I hope to see all of you again next Saturday, 10 a.m. time, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I love all of you. I'm very thankful that you joined us today and good luck. Okay. Thanks, everybody.